Okay, so to finish um, lesson 7.3, uh, we're going to show how to use um, use inverses to solve the system. So it's kind of like the, the reason why we've been doing all these different things, um, you know, all, all this matrix algebra, is to be able to solve these uh, quickly, be able to solve systems quickly. So to start out with, um, just think about this guy right here. We could rewrite this. If I look at just the coefficients, I can make a coefficient matrix and then say that if I multiply that by um, the matrix x over y, it would equal this. And that's true. If I took 3 times x um, minus 2 times y, that goes on top, which is one, um, one number, one expression, and then negative x plus y, that goes down here. And you can't combine them because they're not like terms, but that would be one entire unit. Um, and there are one entire term, and this equals this. You know, these are equivalent matrices because 3x minus 2y equals 0, 3x minus 2y equals 0. So we can split those up, um, and, and then we'll name them. Like A would be the coefficient matrix. We just call this x. Those are your variable matrix. And then B is like the answers. Okay, that's the, uh, the answers to the, the system of each line. Um, so if you have A, x, and B, so we can see that a times x equals b. I'm sorry, equals b. So this is a times x here. Um, so a times x equals b. Now we would love to solve for x. Let's get x by itself, which is the you know the variable matrix. I can't divide a over, but we can multiply by the inverse. Because if I take um, a times its inverse, I'll get i. And I times any, you know, the identity matrix, and then the identity matrix times any matrix is just that back. So if I had, um, so if I multiply both sides by the identity matrix, so you got AX equals B, multiply both sides, I'm sorry, by the inverse of A, not by the identity matrix, multiply by the inverse of A. On the left side, um, the inverse of A times A is just I, so it'd be I times X, so identity times the variable matrix. On the right side, I can't do anything with. And anything times the identity matrix is itself. So that would just be x. And the right side is the inverse of a times b. So if I took the inverse of a times b, those answers are x, which would be the variables themselves, what x and y equal. Okay, so first off down here, I want to find um, the inverse. So if it's a 2 by 2, we start out by the, finding the determinant. So the determinant of A, okay, up here, so it would be 3 times 1 minus, so 3 times 1 is 3, minus, and then negative 1 times negative 2 would be 2, so that equals 1. So the, the determinant is 1. And then I take 1 over the determinant times, and remember I've got to multiply by, i got to switch so that A and the D switch places. So now instead of 3 and 1, this is now 1 and 3. And then the B and C are going to switch signs. They get um, negated, so now they're 2 and 1. Now this scalar is just 1, so that means my inverse is 1, 2, 1, 3. That equals the inverse. So if I take the inverse times B, whatever I get when I multiply those together, that's what my X and Y equal. So x, y, that matrix, equals 1, 2, 1, 3, times b, which is these answers, 0, 5. So I need to multiply these two matrices together. The answers will be my x. So I've got um, 0 times 1 is 0, plus 10. 0 plus 10, which is 10. And then... 1 times 0 plus 3 times 5, so 0 plus 15. So that equals 10, don't know why I put a line there, 15. I'm going to get rid of that line real quick. And if this matrix equals this matrix, that means x equals 10 and y equals 15. So x equals 10, y equals 15. And those are my answers. Okay, and you might be saying, well, that doesn't seem like that saved a lot of time. Well, with two by twos, um, you know, this was a, a, a system of two equations with two unknowns. Sometimes it's going to be faster, sometimes it's not going to be faster. 
but you get down to like three by threes and four by fours, it, it can save a lot of time. If you remember from Algebra 2 solving this guy, it takes a long time, sometimes, you know, half a sheet of paper just to solve it all. Um, but we could solve it pretty quick. So think of, um, you know, my, my A here would be just the, the coefficients of so 3, negative 3, 6, um, 1, negative 3, 10. Oops, I should have went down further here. Negative 1, 3, negative 5. So that's my A. Now I need to find, because to solve it, I need to take the inverse of A times B, which B is just these guys right here. So that equals B. So the inverse, if you remember, this is one of those that um, we can't find. Well, we're going to have you find it by hand. So you can use your calculator to find the inverse. Okay, so type it all into the calculator. And type these coefficients in. And uh, once you've all typed in there, you can quit. And then we get rid of some of this stuff. So I now I want to do um, second matrix. I want to I want this guy, and I want to take the inverse of it. Oops, so just the inverse. And enter. Um, these are all decimals. Now this one here, point one six repeating. That's the same thing as one sixth. Okay, so I've got my inverse there. Um, if you want to, I'll write it down real quick. I'm going to pause my video and write it all down. Okay, and I want to take this inverse. Remember, it's inverse times b. So I'm going to take this inverse times 20, 40, 30. Okay, so if I multiply these out, which I'll do it on the calculator here, I'm going to take, so this would be point, in view here, so 0. 0.5 times 20 plus negative 0. 0.1 times 40 plus 0. 0.4 times 30. 18, so x um, equals 18. Then I'll take um, 1 divided by 6 times 20 plus 0.3 times 40 plus 0.8 times 30. So that would be, I see what I did wrong here. I wanted 0.3, I did negative 3, so let me go fix this. That doesn't seem right. So that's 39 and a third. So y equals 39 and 1 third. And then, uh, 0 times 20 plus 0.2 times 40 plus 0.2 times 30, and I get 14. Okay, so that is a lot easier, you know. Um, obviously, the process to understanding it, knowing what to do next is, is difficult, but the, the actual work here is, is a lot quicker. And some of the stuff, like I, I really wouldn't have to write this down. This first one, I just wrote it down to, so I, while I'm explaining it to you, I could put these in my calculator, find the inverse, um, write this down, and do the calculations that way. So um, anyway, that, that's how you do it. So the big thing right here is that guy will help you solve um, any system um, using inverses, you know, using inverse matrices.